Hey guys, and welcome back to a new YouTube video. This will be a live next Tuesday. Yeah, this will be the first of 2023. Anyways, um, we're at the gym. We just got back from Georgia yesterday. And as you can tell, I've already put on a few pounds. I don't know how many. Don't ask. Because we left our skull in Vegas. <laughs> we did leave our skull in Vegas, but I am not weighing myself till probably the end of January. I am holding on to water. I've been eating whatever I want. I have been doing some cardio, but to be honest, in Georgia, I didn't really prioritize weightlifting a lot. So I'm just like retaining a lot of water and then hormones, guys. I haven't got my period in two months. It's coming. I don't know when, but I feel it. I'm cramping every day. I'm taking ibuprofen every, like three times a day. We're just gonna let it happen. So if you notice that I'm a little chunkier, that is why. But we have legs today. Um, I already took a little bit of pre-workout, but I'm going to take some ghost non-stem burn. I usually take the regular burn, but someone last month had recommended taking Legend plus non-stem burn, and I actually really like that combination. So you have the combination of the Legend, which is the caffeine, and then the burn. If it's non-stem, you're not adding any more caffeine, but you're allowing yourself to get that um, using the, the thermogenic in it, right, baby? Is that what it's called, the thermogenic? In it. He's over there picking something. Uh, uh, stop. And so you sweat. So I need to sweat because I went to spin this morning, guys, and I didn't really sweat, but it's because my water intake has been garbage too. So I just really need to sweat so I can do some of this water retention because I just feel it more so on my face and my stomach. My stomach just feels very like bouncy, which you can tell it's just your my skin is holding water. So it is what it is. We don't got you know, we don't gotta wear a bikini anytime soon. So we're just, you know, gonna get back into routine this this upcoming week. And hopefully by the end of January, I'll look, um, you know, tighter, better, feel overall better right now. Um, you know, I'm not feeling the best physically, but to be honest, internally, I feel really good and I'm happy. So I think that's a really big win and I'll talk to you guys more about that later on, but gonna take this to the dome, which not a lot of people do, but I'm used to it. Sour black cherry. And then we're gonna start our workout. Shit, that's hard. <laughs> All right, guys, so <laughs> post gym <laughs> meal is pizza. Okay. <laughs> this is why it's fucking good. Um, typically, we would eat something healthy, but fuck it. We are at a rallies because we are decorating for tomorrow's get together, a new year get together with everyone. So, pizza it is, and then we're going to get to decorating. Fix the pee really quick. You need another piece of tape? I think once in a while. Wow, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, yo, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. 
We're trying our best here. Well, the letters just need to move because they don't move on their own. <laughs> I think that, I think that balloon is I think this set. looks good. I think, I think you put too much air in it. That one, specifically? That one looks nice. This is good, right? Yeah, that's good. I did good. You did a great job. I'm I could blow. You. Um, Justin's not here to chill. Yeah. My blow that's how you chill. met Justin. This one? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, Justin's not here to chill. <laughs> Yeah, a project manager. Oh, a project manager over there. <laughs> that's the one that I was talking about. You are very beautiful. I just love this thing. She watches this like 30 times. Did you find it? Is this like a. Put your butt. Isn't that loaded up hard? See? PG 13. Popeye? Like the little. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I live outside. It's not my plus one, so I don't know. Hey, like, hey, I'm like, hey, Arnold invited you. He's bringing someone live. else. My room is that closet. <laughs> move before I yeah, because it's short that side, but it, I can cut one, another one. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Uh, there's two left for the tree. Well, there's one and a half. No, there's two left for the tree. So. <laughs> This is what it looks like so far. Did a pretty good job. Honestly, we're almost done to like a seven and a half out of 10, but it's gonna look really nice once we get the food in here, the drinks, it'll be really good. And it's only 10, 16, the hubby. Look, he is, he's rallying. I love him. He's been a good sport, but I know he wants to go home. We're almost done. <laughs> I, I, I love him because he knows that I'm, I'm like, I'm almost done, baby. I'm almost done. We're almost done, I promise. It's too well. Five hours later now, he would leave me here, guys. <laughs> Year, the last year, the last day. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on. I don't know what I'm on. <laughs> the last day of 2022, we are celebrating with all our close friends. All the girls prepared a board. As you can see, we have a chip and salsa board, appetizer board, wing board, taco board and a dessert board. We are gonna go in, I'm so excited. And we have a drinks over there. The guys helped with the decorations from yesterday, as you guys can see. So, <laughs> Chris helped with the cookies. Wow, wow, hey, that's gonna cost you. It's gonna cost you. All right guys, so we are gonna dig in and then we're gonna party. Let's go. Hey, 
This is today's spin class fit. All right, we are good to go. All right guys, happy Tuesday. It's not Monday. I'm used to saying happy Monday when I record, but it's Tuesday. We are off to spin and you guys just saw my spin kind of outfit. I have my waist trainer on because I am, I usually don't wear my waist trainer for spin, but I'm trying to get rid of all that extra extra water weight that I'm holding. Um, so, we are off to spin, and then I have some exciting things to do after spin, which I will share with you guys after spin. But uh, let's go. I went to spin twice last week when I got back from Georgia, and um, it was tough. It was real tough, but I love spin, as you guys know, and right now I'm incorporating it uh, four times a week, um, and then from there, I'll kind of scale down to three. I'm just really trying to one, uh, one, I'm really trying to one, get back to my routine, two, get back to like a maintenance level um, and just get rid of all that water weight and all that stuff. Once I feel like, okay, I'm good, um, I'll scale down to three times a week. But right now we're going for four, at least this week we are, and then we'll see next week how I feel. But um, obviously rest is gonna be really important, taking off my rest days, which will be Thursdays and Sundays and just really focusing on recovery and health. So off to spin because I'm already running a little late. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, spin is all done. I actually changed because where I'm going to next is my first Pilates class. Guys, I'm so excited. I am driving so, but I'm in the parking lot here. Let me like just, just park over. Um, yeah. My first Pilates class, so excited, I'm nervous, but it's like a good nervous, so this is your sign that if you're trying to try, if you're trying something new, you want to try something new this year, try it. It's scary for everyone, it's scary for me too, but who knows, you know, you may fall in love with it, that's how spin was for me. So, I'll catch you guys up when I'm actually parked at the location. <sighs> Alright guys, I'm here. So, I was in a fucking hurry, and... I filled up my gallon of water at the studio because I have like this filtration water thing and I really like the water from there and I left the gallon. So hopefully they have water here because I'm sure they do and I, I need water. Um, I'm tired so after spin I'm like in a high and then I can either sometimes the high lasts a little while or it slowly comes back down. Um, it lasts a little while and it slowly comes back down but right now I feel like it's like I'm crashing and I, I don't want to crash because 
I need to have the energy for this. I didn't take any pre-workout before spin today. I normally don't. During prep, I did because I just needed the fucking caffeine and energy to get me through spin classes and just morning cardio. But I'm trying to back off taking caffeine on an empty stomach just because of you know anxiety reasons cortisol level reasons and gut health issues i just don't want to i don't know put that stuff in me so early um if i feel like i'll need it i'll do it but right now I, i'm just trying to lay off that um i haven't caught you guys up with like my obviously physique update um or even like hormonal update i'm not gonna give you guys a physique update but i'll update you guys on my hormonal horm hormonal issues after class as you guys can see i am obviously like fuller i'm like more back to my normal pre um pre show body i am a little bit thicker in the sense of like i'm holding a lot more water but even like my face it, it feels like um it's coming down it's coming down slowly because i just feel like it's been so bloated um it's coming down slowly and it's just all part of it but i'll explain to detail the hormonal stuff at the end because not everyone wants to hear about it so i'll catch you guys after this um plyo not plyo pilates class it is in uh sugarland area so we're gonna try it out it's like 15 minutes from the house so it's not too too far so i'm hoping i really like it all right we are back in the car from Pilates. It's not even Pilates. It was called It's harder than Pilates. La Grey. La Grey. I think that's called L A G R E E. And yeah, it was hard as shit. So, I'll catch you guys up when I get home cuz I'm starving. I need to get home and I'll catch you guys up on how class was, but it was hard. <laughs> All right, guys. So, I am done eating breakfast. I had my coffee, my egg whites, um, one whole egg, and then I had three pieces of toast with banana because I was starving. I was so hungry. Um, so, let me catch you guys up a little bit before we end and close the vlog. Um, so, I wanted to try out that classic I told you guys because I wanted to incorporate um, different things into my training. Um, as you guys know, I do spin for cardio and I love it so much. Um, but. I wanted to incorporate Pilates uh, because I want to get better with hip mobility, core work, things like that. And so I tried this class, but it was called something else. So La Grey, 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 La Grey. I think I told you guys that's what it was called. Um, so it's a harder, more intense form of Pilates. Um, the machine is different too, and it was hard. I 30 seconds in, I was like, how am I going to? do this right now okay like i do i have really nice obliques and from being a runner and stuff and i have a nice core but core strength like i don't really train abs unless like i have nothing else to train but you know weightlifting itself uses your core for your squats and for other things so that for me is enough so this class was definitely very tough and challenging which i really enjoy because I had tried Pilates before and I and it was too slow for me. It was not what I wanted and I like a challenge. It's really hard for me to sweat anyways. So I just really wanted a challenge and although I didn't burn a ton of calories, I burned like 280 in a 50 minute class, it's still very challenging. And you know, the calories are coming from um, cardio, which is my spin and then I'll do that. So overall good i think i'm gonna keep up with it once to twice a week max um because i am doing spin for my cardio and obviously weightlifting. i am not going to be doing as much upper body because as you guys know if you followed me on journey the last few years i decided to stop training upper body i literally stopped training upper body all of 2021 literally all of 2021 i did not train upper body maybe once a month and so 2022 i decided to train a little bit more um but it was literally like three months of 2022 that i trained upper body and so when i started my prep i um started focusing more on upper body lifts working out making sure that like i was progressing and um i guess i will say that that's what ended up hurting me um when it came to olympia my upper body uh, just needed more size. I just needed more size in general. Uh, the girls at Olympia were just a lot bigger than me. They were softer, but bigger as well. So it was 
it was definitely different i will say that and i you know that's the feedback that i know i haven't actually emailed them to receive the actual feedback but i know that that's the feedback i just look so small compared to everyone else on stage and so it is what it is um i don't personally want to grow my upper body anymore i to be honest i already think it's a little too big like because if you guys see like right now with my upper body you guys can see my definition of my bicep my triceps and my shoulders and so when you add fat on top of that your arms look thicker and i don't i personally do not like to have super thick arms so the more muscle you make yeah it looks great but I also hold body fat. I know I'm not walking around at 10% body fat all year, all the time. And so, and I'm naturally not a lean person. So adding on muscle plus adding on that layer of just normal, healthy body fat is going to make my arms thicker. And to each their own, some people love having thicker arms, some people don't. I just personally do not. So I, um, I'm also going to talk about this on the podcast, but Chris and I agreed that that's not the look that we want for me. And um, so I will not be probably competing again. Uh, and I say that in the sense of like the reason I compete is to be competitive. And the reason I wanted to compete this year, obviously, is because I felt this intuition to compete and I wanted to get my pro card. But if that means for me to get my pro card that I need to be bigger, then that's not the that's not the direction that I want my life to go in, at least not right now. And so i will not be competing oh, chris will not be competing either in this year we are we decided to he decided to take a full year of growing and getting his health back on track and i'm just focusing on myself this year and the balance that i've achieved um so right now like i'm obviously dealing with the hormonal issues i haven't got my period in two three months so i'm holding on to extra water hormones are all in balance i am a little bit more moodier in the sense of like not like angry but just like more i find myself like uh, getting more emotional crying over small little things and like um like it's more like shows not like like because i'm upset about something it's like a show come on and like i'll just naturally cry just because and like i just i'm feeling a little bit more emotional I'm breaking out a lot more on my face. I have a lot more acne. Um, like I said, I'm holding more water in my midsection and my arms and my face. I know that once I get my period and my estrogen levels balance out, I'll start to feel better. But right now, all I can do is just let it be, like let it work itself out, do what I can on my part, which is get back into my consistent routine, which is cardio, weightlifting, and back on um, you know eating healthy again i haven't tracked macros i didn't do a reverse diet guys i was 10 days in vegas after my show and then i came back for three days in houston went to georgia for like eight days came back literally last week and it's been like so i've been gone for like three weeks and i knew that i wasn't wanting to stress over fucking carrying out carrying chicken and broccoli with me i just didn't want to do it i wanted to spend also like christmas and stuff with my family and enjoy the food and eat whatever i wanted so i will say that i obviously could probably be leaner right now if i wanted to if i would have taken my reverse serious but i didn't want to and i'm actually very happy with besides the floating part i'm happy with the way that i look i'm happy with the way that i feel i know like once my estrogen levels i know mentally once everything gets on track i'm gonna look tighter i'm gonna look better so i'm waiting on that it's for me is like the outside um opinions that i worry about sometimes of what people or other people are gonna think like oh she didn't take care of herself look how fast she put on that body weight um you know stuff like that so that's what sometimes gets to me but i try not to think about what other people think what other people are going to say and just focus on the way that i'm feeling right now and it's going to take some time i mean literally i got back on town thursday i started spin back on friday which is three days ago so it's not it's gonna take time it's not for you can't make changes in a night and a day so i know that by the end to be honest by the end of next week i probably will be like literally 80 percent better as far as like water bloat and everything i'm just i just have to be patient which i'm allowing myself to be and i'm eating right now when i'm hungry my hunger levels have thankfully balanced out some i'm still a little bit hungry and some like sometimes and stuff but my hunger levels in the beginning after prep were like up here and now i feel like they're right here and they're slowly coming down which is a good thing because i'm honestly 
like I don't want to be hungry all the time because I know that that's when it's easier for me to eat all these extra calories that I'm not supposed to eat. Um, right now, like I had three pieces of toast, which is a good thing though, because I worked really hard. I am this year trying to focus on fueling my body properly, fueling it more, getting more protein in. So instead of like only, you know, eating 80, 100 grams of carbs, I'm trying to eat the carbs. I'm trying to, you know, eat and fuel my body properly so I'm not over exhausted and my body's not holding on to excess calories that you know and eat so i work really hard so i need to fuel my body good so that's the goals for me f you know fitness wise for this year is just to focus on me focus on getting my lifestyle back because i will say that the first week after prep and stuff it was hard because i was so hungry i was eating a lot of food i was eating whatever i wanted and i felt like my relationship with food like two weeks after from the point i stopped my show to two weeks after i was like not in a good mental spot with food and now i feel like i'm getting back to my normal state which i'm really happy about and it's all normal guys I, the post show thing is really hard it's a lot harder than prep itself because you have all these food you're tired of dieting you're t for me i was tired of all the gut issues i wanted to get back to looking normal again and feeling normal again the thing is sometimes you rush the process too fast when your body's not ready to catch up to it yet and that's what i kind of felt like i was at but you know now thankfully i think everything is starting to balance out my training sessions have been really good i'm using all the extra f food to fuel my training sessions which is really important and I'm just making sure this year that i get steps into because i work from home a lot and i don't prioritize steps as much as i should so i'm going to start doing that as well anyways that is a little update post show what i'm how i'm doing um you know and things like that i'm excited for the new year there's a lot of things in the works business wise and personal wise just keep focusing on myself rest when i need to and give myself a break that's like my personal goals for 2023 is like be more be more still because i am the type of person that wants to i was already thinking about oh my god i'm gonna start prepping for a half marathon like i'm gonna hire a coach and do all this stuff and i was like jasmine calm the fuck down take a fucking break you just competed you need to just learn how to live and chill and that is what <laughs> is hard for me but that's what i'm gonna um you know focus on this year at least right now in the beginning of the year so wanted to catch you guys up because it's been a while that i just sat and talked to you guys so if you made it this far thank you guys so much for watching and supporting olympia was amazing meeting everyone was amazing everyone that i met listened to the provocative podcast which was just such a cool thing to hear about how it's changed your life and how you guys resonated with so resonate with the podcast so much so i'm really really grateful for that <laughs> they can see you in that mirror too baby um but uh yeah we're we're killing the podcast i'm actually gonna go shower change because we're recording an episode today podcast goes live every thursday youtube every tuesday so don't forget to watch um or listen to the podcast um share it with your friends and things like that and then um just want to say thank you for everyone who supports me with dark sport um obviously you guys know that you guys can use my discount code jazzy10 to get 10 percent off and it supports me and then the um I'm like the only other big sponsor I have, obviously, as you guys know, is Ghost. Code Jazzy saves you 20% on all Ghost products and things like that. But please comment down below what kind of videos you guys want to see from me this year. I am determined to make better content, more content for you guys. So leave it down below. Let me know what you guys want to see, and I will do my best to get to you. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.